Well, right now, thousands of stop and shop workers all across New England are back on the picket line for the second day. Here's where things stand right now. Temporary workers are expected to fill positions within more than 240 stores. Officials say the majority of the stores in New England are open, but there are delays with Peapod orders, both with delivery and in-store pickup. Governor Raimondo has sent a letter to the president of Stop and Shop urging both sides to continue negotiations. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has been working this story all day long. She joins us live now with what both sides are saying tonight. Kim? Well, Shannon, we're here live in Cranston at the Warwick Avenue store. And as you just mentioned, Stop and Shop has said most of their stores will remain open during this strike, but that is not the case here. This store is closed, leaving customers to take their business elsewhere while the union and company hash out this contract. Day two on the picket line. Send the message to the company to do the right thing. Stop and shop employees continue their strike amid ongoing contract negotiations with the company. Workers concerned about decreases in pay and benefits. But a stop and shop spokeswoman says their offer to the union would increase pay and company pension fund contributions and keep health care premiums below national averages. Give us what we want. You know, we're not asking for a lot. You pay, we make use money every single day. Do what's right by us and we'll do it right by you. Stop and Shop says a majority of stores will remain open during the strike from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., but not all. Customers arriving at this Cranston store greeted by a sign saying it's temporarily closed. Every time I come here, I get the broccoli and cheese soup. So where am I going to get my broccoli and cheese soup? <laughs> Diane Marshall came from Pawtucket to find her favorite store in Cranston closed, and though she says it's inconvenient, she and others we spoke with feel for the workers. Well, their issues should be looked at and resolved because obviously it's costing them money. I think that uh, the, the workers have a right to uh, argue for what they need. And even as we're standing here in the parking lot, folks are coming up to us asking if this market is closed. This one here on Warwick Avenue in Cranston is. But we should note that as we were uh, driving through the area looking for stop and shop workers, the Shaw's Marketplace just down the street from here is absolutely packed with customers. Coming up new at 6, we'll hear from an expert about how long this strike could last and the impact it might have on stop and shop's bottom line. For now, reporting live in Cranston, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kate. The latest developments now on the stop and shop strike now in its second day, and we're seeing impacts beyond the supermarkets. Ripta says it will be detouring 17 routes until the strike is over. Buses won't be stopping directly in front of stores out of, quote, an abundance of caution. In Middletown, officials say they're working to get more pay as you throw trash bags to other stores since stop and shop is one of the places in town that sells them. While some stop and shop stores are open, others are closed. Iowa News reporter Kim Kalunian continues our coverage from Cranston. Kim? Well, Shannon, customers who come to this stop and shop on Warwick Avenue in Cranston will have to take their business elsewhere or go without groceries for now. This as stop and shop workers continue their strike and go another day without pay. Day two on the picket line. We're all out here. We're trying to get our benefits, wages, what the company wants to take away from us. Union workers saying the company wants to make cuts to pay and benefits while Stop and Shop insists their offer does the opposite. The ongoing strike leaving some customers to take their business elsewhere. I am kind of upset that it's not open. There are injuries to both sides. Uh, it's unavoidable. Um, economic injuries on both sides and we can only see what the extent will be depending on how long this particular strike lasts. Johnson and Wales professor and labor attorney Roger Achille recalls the market basket strike of 2014 non-union workers on the picket line for six weeks before winning their battle. He says it's tough to predict how long this strike will last but believes it will be partially decided by where the public puts its allegiance, the market or the workers. When you decide to go on strike uh, now you're bringing it into the uh, public domain and the third party and influential party in any strike is the public. And while most stop and shop stores will be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. during this strike staffed by temporary workers, the temporary closure of this store is already proving to be a boon for a nearby competitor. We drove by the Shaw's just down the road earlier today. That parking lot there was absolutely packed. Live in Cranston tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.